Well, we're back in Planet Nomads, and uh, we've got this beast around the bit of the map. Uh, if we have a look, we started off down here, we trawled around up here, crossed over there, managed to find our way through here, up here, and we found Xanite in this area here, and Titanium and all sorts of other stuff. We've got a Xanite crystal marked there, that's what that is. And um, that should show the, the location of um, subterranean Xanite. So if we put a miner down there, we should get Xanite coming out of our ears. But in the meantime, this is quite a hostile area in the sense of the temperature. So whilst I'm stood right on top of the thermal generator, I'm at 20 degrees Celsius. It's like an English sort of summer's day. If we move away from the thermal generator, you can see in the bottom left my temperature quite rapidly goes up to 44, 44 degrees Celsius, which is very, very warm, very, very hot. So, it would be good to have a base in this area. Sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Uh huh, slightly thirsty. So that we can make deuterium for the deuterium generator how long have we got to go 19 hours um, and also so that we can easily gather aluminium silicon xenite silver all those kinds of good stuff so we're just going to make a little base well not that little and see how we go now also did a couple of the um, POIs whilst I was wandering around and uh, they gave me quite a few data pads so at some point we'll need to go through the different data pads and see what is going on alright but first things first we need to get some building materials in our inventory you can see we've picked up quite a lot of stuff I'll just pick all this up and no doubt there'll be something I've forgotten to make but we'll just have to cope so let's have a bit of think well, first off let's put things on our hotbar the trouble is we're going to have to pop backwards and forwards to the vessel in order to do this because uh, otherwise we'll overheat and that has quite unpleasant sort of consequences. Uh, we'll have that. A door. A window. Biomass generator, fair enough. And one of these guys. We'll need him up and powered as quickly as humanly possible so that we can actually stay down at the base. So I was thinking we'd build something around about here. So let's go for it. Uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll start one there. Second one there. Third one there. Can we come back over? It's going to go into the terrain if we do that. Okay. Let's go this way. Hopefully these are lining up properly. I think uh, three by three feels a bit small. Maybe three by four. I can always stick stuff on the roof if I run out of space. Mm. 
reload the multi tool. I do have a tendency to build things bigger than they actually need to be. This is kind of a base for uh, finding our way about. Now let's just bring the rover up a little bit closer. That might be too close, but we'll see. Now then, um, let's put a corner piece on. There, yep. Uh, one there. And one there, and wow, it is bright in the desert, isn't it? Okay, we'll make those. And then we'll just put walls in, straight walls down this side. Did I actually get the walls out? I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, basic. Normal wall. And we'll just have a. Oh, we'll have one window, shall we? Yeah, why not? Uh, that's seven. Are they all right? They're the right way? Yeah, they are. We will have some water. Well rested. Good hydration secured. Yep. Nutrition level dropping. And we'll build one of these guys about there, maybe. Got the parts for it, that's fantastic. And we'll get power from here. And we'll put that there. There we go. And then we need to have something to eat, so we'll have to pop them in our inventory temporarily. On a hot bar, rather. There we go. Now we'll put some more walls on. Yep. Then we'll be able to get out of the uh, elements. Once we've put some roof panels on. So we'll get some ceiling panels. Da, 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 da. Probably not doing another one of them anytime soon. There then, come on. It's a bit fiddly getting the first one on. No, I want you to be. Uh, Let's just stand on that. Come on. Is that right? I'm not sure it is. No, it's too far over. But, uh, I ought to be able to attach this one to that one in the right place. And then we can take that one out. Come on now. No, you're just awkward, aren't you? Nope. Right, so there we go. Come on. Go. 
Now, as long as we keep passing our thermal generator, we should be okay from the heat. I think that's where you need to be. Yeah, that looks right. Now, even when you've got a building, if you're in a really hot environment, you still need thermal generators. Uh, let's have t t some more wall, I think. Not upside down, though. Is that the right way? I think it is. Oh, I don't do that. Why do you do that? No, that's the wrong way around, I think. Right, now just stay like that. There we go. And then we'll uh, twist you around. Um, yeah, I'll put one more there. that one there. I'll twist that around. Put that there. Put that there. And that there. And then I think we'll have oops, two windows. And here we will have a window and a door. And t -t 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 yeah. And then I want a wall that has a conveyor joint. Yep. And that's the wrong way up, isn't it? I think it is. So let's switch that over. Let's make that and just check. Yep, it is. Might as well make that as well. And we'll have a standard wall here. And a window here. And da -da -da. Possibly a window there, and a short wall section. Uh, there. And I've run out of glass. and run out of charge on the multi-tail. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll go and put the ceiling on. So I've enclosed. Uh, I think it needs to be one further across, it does. Those foundation building blocks are deceptively large. I always end up with buildings being bigger than I was anticipating. Oh, well, let me do that from in here. Just about. Let me do that one. Go 
God. That's not the right place, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, cool. So we'll go and cool down. Yep. Then we'll make that roof. Oh, I wasn't going to make that one, never mind. Can I make the door? I can. It's just glass that I'm short of. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. So, what resources have we got left? Well, we've chewed through the plate. Right, let's go out to the vehicle. And see what's to see. So I've made some more of those and some of those. We're going to need some more basic frames. So let's do possibly not that many actually. Let's just do 20. And let's do 30 of that. We're not short of iron. And then I'm not sure what we've got in storage, if we had anything else left in the way of building materials. Nope, don't think we've got anything else left at all. Cool, that's okay. That's not a problem. Right. What do we need for a medium... Uh, one of them. We need ALMs. Okay. What do we need for... Oh, maybe. Oh, we might be able to do that. Some of those. Hang on, let's put that armory in there and bring up the inventory. Ah, we need we need that medium. Right. Okay. Okay. What can we make in here? The sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I wonder if the compact armory can make those, um, well let's just build it and see. Now the compact armory can be kind of out of the way because we're not going to make it use it a lot. Uh, yeah, come on. Oh. I wish it would leave things the way you've actually put it yourself. Right. What we should do is put a switchboard in here. Uh, yep. And connect the power up from generator out here. Set up electricity. Come on, come on. To that. 
And then what we'll do is we will disconnect the electricity from that. Connected from this switchboard. Why not? Okay, what can you make? You can make those. Okay. So, we're going to need some. What do we need? We need. Didn't mean to do that. We'll need titanium, silicon, and carbon. Always with the carbon. So carbon, might as well take a bit of that. Take some iron. Was it titanium? I think it was. Take all of that. Uh, some silicon. Uh, let's take some biomass and make a biomass generator. Cool. Let's take some more carbon. Because you always need carbon. Alright. So now, what did I want to make? I wanted to make the medium... Uh, this thing. So that means three of the ALM twos. Three, and if we put some carbon, some silicon, and some titanium, we can do that. Marvellous. What else does this need? Needs two frames, eight components, four of the second tier electronics, and four of the mechanical components. So we can build a 3D printer. That's great. And we might build that uh, over here, I think. Yep. Oh, I need some water. You are well rested. I am well rested. Secured. Marvellous. There's not much I can do, I don't think, until we've got that. Um, what would a biomass generator take? Oh, we could build one of those. How much power do they absorb? Uh, 300, yeah. How much does that absorb? 50, okay. Let's just put a biomass generator over here. Come on. Ugh, don't don't do that, honestly. <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah, just put it down. Uh, we might make two of those actually, why not? That's cheap enough. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? I think it is. I'll do all three. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'll yeah, try parts to do that. Okay. So as soon as I need something, let's get this machine making it. Come on. Electronic parts. Everything takes carbon. Let's do 20. And then let's get it making some glass as well. And uh, that takes carbon too. Why wouldn't it? Right, did I 
I bring some biofuel with me? I did. Put a hundred in each. And t -t 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 -t. C, connect electricity to that switch. Yep. And C, connect electricity to that switch. Marvellous. And then let's. Oh. oh, yeah. No, it's this one here. Uh, what I should have done. Yeah, okay. So. Connect electricity to that and off. C connect electricity to that and off. C connect electricity this and this and this. And we need to put a light in because that's just getting ridiculous. Um but lights probably require uh glass. You would think, wouldn't you? Yeah. So we can't do that just yet. Uh -huh. So we'll go and see how this is getting on. Do we do we do? Got twenty of them. Some of them. Right, I really need a light in here, even if it uses glass, I can't really afford. Uh, two electronics, one electronic, so I think that's what we're going to do. Seven. Uh, yep. Nutrition level dropping. Yes, I know. And let's link that up. And then we have at least a bit of light, don't we? Yeah. Not quite so dark. Have something to eat. Right, how's that going? Um, we've got those. Now can we build the thingy what's it? We can. Uh, okay. Let's put you there. Why not? And we will connect you to the power. Fabulous. And now, I don't think... Is this making anything? It's done making stuff. So we'll actually switch the generator for this off. Uh, so we're not running out of power on that. Okay, now we need. Uh, where are your connectors? You've got one connector there and one connector at the back. Of course, it's at the back. Um, let's see. Can we get. One of one of those, one of those, and no, we don't want that one. We want that one. There we go. And then we'll put a couple of little containers uh, down there. See, swivel you around and around. And one, two. And that'll do for starters. And then we'll start dumping stuff in there. Oh, 
Right. Then we'll go and get stuff out of the... thingy. what's it here? Yeah, that is all off. Marvellous. And... Da -da. Silicon. Quite a bit more iron. Don't need that yet. Uh, loads of carbon. Bit more iron. Okay. And I think the first of the higher end materials we're going to need is aluminium, cobalt, and silver. So let's take some of those through as well, along with that. And we'll start feeding the printer in here. And at the moment we'll just whack stuff in. Now, what are we going to want next? We're going to want the the next armory up, which is where is it? It's that one there. That needs two super alloy. So actually, we will need the um, zonite. There you go. Let's finish those windows off. We don't need to do that um, generator at the moment. Yeah, let's go and get the Zanite. Right. Okay. Well, might as well take this stuff. Some Zanite. Right. Uh, some more silver. what you use gold for to be honest. We'll take a couple of bits of uranium as well. Now in this biome uranium is quite a quite a commonplace thing so what do you need for a uranium generator? We need some advanced building components we don't have so fair enough. Right. Oh. Let's put this stuff in here. Uh, where's the zonite? Zonite. Some gold. Yeah, okay. We don't have a huge amount of carbon, do we? Oh, about 400 and something. Right. Let's see. We're going to want to build a few things. So what I'll do is I'll get the bits together and uh, we'll come back once I've got them ready and we'll finish off the build. So I'll see you soon. And we've got the resources now that we need. I've moved the thermal generator slightly more centrally so that it kind of covers the area because it does have a radius effect it kind of covers the area where I'm likely to be working in um, and I've just connected up the printer to the exterior and to the ceiling so if I put stuff outside or there in the future it'll be good to go okay now I think possibly the first thing we want next is the Is what? That's a good question. Let's get the um, armory. Now then. Come on. Uh, let's put you there. Yep, and we should have the resources to make you okay. And actually, 
we'll just box a bit clever and rather than putting connectors in we'll put a box uh, and if we put that there that will connect up to this box here and to that connector there so we'll have extra storage and we'll have that connected so if we click on this storage box here now we should see the compact containers the 3d printer and the medium armory marvelous oh we'll not put power on yet we'll just get things in place so what have we got on four the medium food and drink machine will that directly link up i think it might oh how how um lucky i mean extremely well planned is that yeah so again if we check the cargo box we should now have the food and drink machine there it is yeah fantastic now, i'm not sure i want to go any further that way because that'll block the um that'll block the windows what else do i need a medium med bay so we'll stick that there and we'll just put a couple of connectors on and we'll need the round one uh, that one Ah, except there's no connectors coming off there so no we'll still put the round the rounded one on um yeah there but what i'll do is i'll take that one off and put that one instead Uh, yeah, just so that we've got another connection there to link up to if we want to. Okay. So that's the main machines. Let's go and put the garden on the roof. I'll get the sunlight. Yep. See my, in the bottom left corner, you can just about, because it's so bright, see, that actually ab above the thermal generator, it's only 22 degrees, see. How bizarre. There then. Where's that going? There. What that? Yeah, let's see. How close is that? That is spot on. Fantastic. So we'll make the greenhouse. And we'll put... My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Yeah, that's okay. We can live with being slightly thirsty. A rounded one and a straight one uh, that's on eight and that's on seven so there we go we've got the greenhouse we've got the medical bay we've got the printer have we got a refinery what's that that's the armory, med bay, ah, I forgot the refinery, medium refinery, I don't think we've got one of those out, let's just check, so that's the fab machine, that's the printer, that's the armory, that's the med bay, that's the compact armory but we want the fully fledged armory. So, yeah, we'll put that over here, will we? Yes, we will. Number six. Well, that's a bit weird. Don't really want it on its side, I don't think. Can we have it on its top? 
Yeah. Um, it's kind of going to block the window a bit. Oh, the multi-tool is... needs recharging. Hmm. Will that bash into the med bay? I think it will, won't it? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll take that out. We'll put a rounded one on. that up. We'll put some uh, will we? Yes. We'll put some little storage containers there. You don't really want to be running out of storage anyway. And then we'll put uh, put one there and one there, which then handily links those things up. And then we will have one of these. Coming out of here. And I oh, won't let me put it there, will it not? No, okay. We'll have to make that up. Then we'll put a one of those there. One of those there. Uh, we'll have that one there. that one there and that one there and that one there and then if we can make all those which I think we can we have all of our machines and all of our storage linked up so now if I go in here I should be able to access the medium refinery The med bay, the armory, the printer, the fab machine and the greenhouse. That's excellent. Everything is linked up. Now, let's see if we've got enough power. So, C. Connect electricity. So, one, two, three, four. And we'll head up to the greenhouse and do the greenhouse as well. There we are. Now what does that leave our power usage at? Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got about, these are all the same. They're all connected up to the same switch. So they equally share the power load. So I've got about 200 elect watts free in each one. So I've got about 600 watts of power spare. So that is cool. So we are set up. Um, I can take this one down now. So we have a functional base. And what I can do next time is start on the parts. I think I've got enough stuff to start on the parts to turn this vehicle into a flying base. And then we will have much more uh, ease of getting around because it took me a long time to get here and I haven't actually travelled that far just from here uh, up there and around there 
and you can see how much of the planet remains to be explored and that would be a lot faster in a flying vehicle that's not dealing with the terrain. It won't actually go much faster than the ground vehicle but um, it won't hit any obstacles so that's great. But we need to set this up to get water from the pond outside. I'll probably put a, a drilling rig out there to grab stuff as well. We've got a drilling rig just over the rise. You can just see it in the distance there. Uh, might as well go and have a look. And that is producing a few bits of resource. It's not producing a lot. But it is producing lots of xanite, which is quite handy. So if we have a look. Um, bo -bo -bo. Carbon is actually the main thing I need. Let's get that out. But we've got another 12 satellite there, so we'll take that back as well. Uh, are you bringing titanium? Yeah, we'll take titanium. And, da -da -da. and the cobalt, why not? That's all the space I've got in my inventory. Oh, it's not filling those boxes, is it? Nope. So I may as well take the top two boxes back because it's, it's producing bits of so many things that um, it's never going to need more than one cargo box. But it's producing some basic useful resources, so we'll keep on with it. Now I'm going to need to eat and drink. It's too hot out here, that's what the problem is. Uh, 43 degrees Celsius, get inside. And we're back down at 25, 24. So we'll set our toolbar back up because I took the defense rifle off. We'll put the water in O, oh. food in 9, bandages in 8. And we will have some water. Well and we'll have some food. Well awesome. So we are in a good place. So we'll leave it there for now. And um, we'll start on making our vehicle airborne in the next episode. So I'll see you then, guys. Bye for now.